So I want to show you how to replace your diesel particulate sensor on your 2014 or 2015 Chevy Cruze. Uh, that's the diesel model. Um, the diesel particulate sensor is a lot like your O2 sensor on a regular car. So uh, I have just finished the job. So this is the old one in the box. Looks a lot like an O2 sensor. It plugs into your exhaust pipe. And here's the module. It goes along with it. So what you should do is jack up your car. These cruises sit a little low, uh, so give yourself lots of room here in the front and the back. And you'll see underneath here is this composite panel. Uh, if you've changed the uh, diesel uh, fuel filter, you've taken this off before. There's these 10 millimeter plastic nuts, a whole bunch of those in a circle. Take all those off and this panel will come loose. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film this until I'd already put it back on. So I'll show you what I can show you and hopefully this helps. So here's your exhaust pipe. Uh, in front of it, that's the NOx center sensor. Right there, NOx. And this is your uh, diesel particulate sensor. You can see it looks a little shinier because that's the new one I just put in. Uh, so what you're going to do is take this composite panel off and up here where your fuel filter is, you'll see that same square module. It's hooked into the sidewall with two, uh, I think they were 10 millimeter bolts. This top one's a little tricky to get to because the uh, fuel filter housing is in the way. So uh, you have to do your best with a small ratchet to get that loose. But take those two off, unplug the old one. And then uh, you'll see that the cord, the wire holding the uh, knock sensor and the O2 sensor are bound together and tied with zip ties in several places. So be very careful when you cut those loose. Don't damage this knock sensor wire or that'll be your next job is the knock sensor. Um, when I say NOx, that's NOx uh, sensor. So you'll cut those loose. Loosen this big guy here. Those are a little tricky. Sometimes you might need an O2 sensor socket to get it loose. I just use an adjustable wrench and a hammer. But uh, unscrew that and then thread it back out uh, toward the um, fuel filter housing. And then thread the new one in. I left the plastic cover on as I threaded it. You'll see it right here. Leave that on while you thread it so that you don't mess up your expensive sensor before it's even installed. Um, once you get it threaded through there, install it, screw it back in. And then I just took some zip ties and hooked this old cord, the new cord to the old knock sensor cord so it's tucked up out of the way nicely. Plug it in, bolt it back on, and you're in business. At that point, uh, put your composite cover back on. And this should fix trouble code P24AE. If you're seeing P24AE, it is almost always this diesel particulate sensor. Very easy job, only takes a few minutes. Don't pay a shop to do this. If you have questions or comments, let me know. I'm happy to answer them and help you get this job done yourself. Uh, it's easy. Don't be afraid. Thanks.